Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Photopea tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can do some really cool color outlines like this that look like they're glowing. I added all these on and made it look like that. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that in this tutorial really easily. So follow along and we'll get this done. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go down here to this little page icon and we're going to create a new layer. So click on that and you'll see there's a new layer here. Now we're going to go to the brush tool and we're going to change this to the 24 right here and leave everything else the same, the size 24, all that. Um, now go down here and make sure this color is uh it doesn't really matter right now, but I guess white works. Go down here to the pen tool and make sure this is shape. Make sure the fill is transparent and we definitely need a stroke on here. So make that white and for the pixels, it's preference, but I prefer 11 because it's not too skinny and it's not too thick. So now we're ready to start outlining. So. How you do that is first we're going to zoom in on the guy and we're going to get our pen tool and it's kind of like the polygonal lasso select because every time you click it adds a new point but what you can do is if you hold left click you can curve it so you can go around round edges so i'm going to start up here and i'm just going to work my way down his entire helmet Whatever this is, I don't even know. So just keep clicking until you are all the way around. A tip I can give you is to make short little, like don't go too far before you click because it'll not be as nice. So make sure to click frequently for the best um, results. The farther you pull your mouse like this, It'll curve more. Sometimes if you mess up, you just have to hit control Z and it'll back up. This definitely takes some practice to get good at, so keep that in mind. Okay, so once you have the whole thing selected, right click, make it a selection, and hit OK. I had multiple uh, shapes with these, so I'm just going to make a selection for all of them. Um, you shouldn't have this many, but I messed up because I'm bad. So I'm just going to do that to all of them. Make them all selection just for this one character. And now I'm going to hold shift and select all those layers and just um, merge them. So now they are all merged. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new layer. So click that page icon again. And this time I'm going to change the blend mode to linear dodge. Now I'm going to change the color down here to whatever I want the glow to be. So I want it to be like a hot pink, I guess. And I'm going to go to my brush tool. This time I'm going to change it to this 24 right here. And I'm going to turn the size up to about 107. So now you just start brushing. Make sure there's nothing selected because I had this line here. So it was only letting me fill inside. So just hit control D to deselect everything. So now just outline the entire line. And if you mess up, hit control Z. So just outline the whole thing. Dang it, I messed up again. So it's best to take little strokes here and there. So I click once and then click again. So if you hit control Z, it doesn't erase all of your progress. 
So it's looking really cool already. You could spend more time on this and make it look even better. But I'm just trying to show you guys how you can do it. So you guys can do it um, yourself. Yeah, I don't, I'm not really too happy with that spot right there. Okay, so he is outlined completely now. So you can see here, it's pretty cool. Um, what you can do now is you can uh, blur this. So we're gonna blur this um, glow. So go up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and turn that to about 36. Like that, hit okay. And another thing we could do to make this look better, I know this looks really bad. Um, I could have spent more time on this, um, but another thing you can do is you can make a new layer, click this little half circle and go to curves and just move this one up and this one down and I'll make the, the glow look even better. So there's that one and you could just hold shift and merge these layers so now it's one so if you um, hide it it'll hide the glow okay so I added the glow around his helmet too and that's how you do it so hopefully this tutorial helped you guys if it did leave a like and subscribe if you have any questions leave them down in the comments below thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one